Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of the app Wi-Fi Q. Now basically what this app does is, it, in a, in a few words, it kills the connection for other devices and computers connected to a particular network. So let's say you have a, a Wi-Fi hotspot at home and someone from outside has connected, you can easily kick him out, you can block his connection so that he cannot use your internet. And you can also redirect people, so we're going to have a look at this in just a bit. Anyways, for this app does require root, by the way. So yeah, you start up the app, and you basically turn it on here. Now you need to wait for it to search for devices, and it will load up. So in this home at the moment, I only have one computer connected to my router. So to not waste time, I'm just going to skip it, and I'll be back once the loading has been done and it is done so basically now what you need to do is you need to pick the computer or the device that is connected basically tick the box on the right side and you begin blocking it so in my case I'm gonna kill this one and yeah that's pretty much all you need to do this was this is actually my computer right now and now I'm gonna do a test and okay as you can see at the moment I'm in the Google web page so I was there while I had an internet connection. Now if I try to refresh the page by pressing F5 or just opening a new tab and revisiting the website, you can see how there is no internet connection now. There is no Google, no YouTube, or any other miscellaneous page which you try to enter. As you can see, the Wi-Fi Q app at the moment is killing the connection, it is rejecting, it is dropping your connection as you can see. So that particular person cannot visit any websites at all, basically it just drops your connection. So here is another cool feature that this app offers. Tap on your menu button and go into settings. Now scroll down and make sure that use IP tables is enabled. And also go to reject method and choose drop policy post redirect to basically this will not only drop the person's uh, connection but it will also redirect them to a particular IP address which you choose so set the IP from here so you can actually use this for a prank in friends uh, some, somewhere for example you can go to his home and while he's playing you can secretly change the IP to redirect him to a funny website as a prank obviously if you use this to redirect people to malware and other stuff it's a crime and basically you might end up in jail or something like that so I really wouldn't advise to use this for bad reasons just for pranks anyways now I'm gonna type in the IP address for meat pin for example and there we go, so I just entered the IP address here. I'm gonna choose OK. Now after applying these settings, you might need to restart the app. So just do that. Now start back the app. And as usual, turn it on. So once again it will begin scanning, so just choose the same device which you chose before and the new settings should actually apply. So I'm just gonna skip the searching, I'm gonna set the device and I'm gonna show you the final demonstration of what happens. Oh actually it appeared, okay, killing and yeah, put your device away. Now let's enter the Google search engine or whatever your friend is trying to access. This is what you should get. So as you can see it is working without any problems. Now there are cases that it might not actually redirect immediately, it might take some time or sometimes it may restore back to normal, meaning that it might take the person where he is actually trying to access, where he's trying to go, but as you can see it works. So yeah, whatever you type in, YouTube, Google or any other web page, this is what you end up with. So that's about it everyone, I hope you found this video useful. You can easily use this app to make pranks to your friends or wherever you are located or you can just kick unneeded, 
uninvited guests from your network. So yeah, it's a really nice app, very useful. Just remember to not use this for any criminal reasons or you might end up in jail, like I said. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Please remember to visit the blog for useful Android tips and tricks and the latest news. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.